Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news source on YouTube. Look, look! It's going to be drinking, swearing, and smoking. If you don't like those things, you have been warned. Here I come in three, two, one. Bang! Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Crypto. Welcome. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth. Bang, bang! The greatest show in the multiverse. Now, brothers, holy, there is so much news going on. There is so much news going on. It's unbelievable. Like, I literally have to ration stories to you because we only do three. You know, I can't keep you all night. And so, look. So, tonight, number one, IOTA. <laughs> a new client, obviously. <laughs> They're going to manage water for a new client. Uh, like do, you know, verifying water purity and stuff like this. We'll get there when we get there. And then this is what I was talking about um, right about a week ago, right? I was mentioning Ethereum has a lot of um, major um, distributed apps that are being built on it. And so, bang, I'm going to talk to you about a couple Fortune 500s. Yeah, and these are Fortune 500s. Yeah, names you know, motherfucker that are on, that are building on Ethereum right now. And then bang, look. All right, here you go, mass adoption lovers. You wanted your fucking mass adoption? Here it comes. It's gonna be brought to you by the friendly people at Facebook. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, when I say mass, <laughs> I mean mass. I mean, like I said, I'm never going to buy, I'm never going to waste my Bitcoin on a fucking coffee. But I tell you what, for those who want to, you're going to be allowed to. Well, and it will be easy to, and I'm going to show you how. But actually, this is what will help the unbanked and stuff like that. And it's just something I've never talked about because I never thought it would happen. But it's shocking, but a bit, it does take a big corporation to do this and, uh, this is going to bring your mass adoption, especially to the unbanked and such. Yes, and I've always known this, but I've just never talked to you guys about this because I never thought it was going to happen. But, you well, know, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not always right. I mean, all, you know, 99% of the time. But look, look. <laughs> well, I'm never wrong, though. It's just maybe I don't mention the right stuff I know. Look, look. All right. Let's get to how we do it, brother. We do it with a little bit of boom. And then we do it with a little bit of. Bang! Here's yes. all right. What are we dealing with? Oh, 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 gotta get the paperwork. Gotta get the paperwork. It's a job around these parts. Got the paperwork. Yes. All right. What do we got? All right. Do we have here? Oh, oh, oh. You can you guys see this? Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah, my computer's acting a little funny. I gotta make sure everything's working properly. All right, guys. So, uh, Bitcoin. Let's do our Bitcoin price first. Oh, oh well. First of all, we refresh. Bang! Look, that didn't go anywhere. All right, so um, our Bitcoin last night was 7.811. Right now we were at 7.829. So, yes, a hefty increase of nothingness. All right, let's look at the top 10 of the day, brothers, in terms of market cap. The usual suspects. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, EOS, Binance Coin, Bitcoin SV, Tether and Stellar. Bang! Look, look! What do we got today? Oh, we're back to the song of 2019. Single digits up to single digits down, brothers. Oh, they're playing the old greatest hits again. All right. <laughs> no more blood red. All right. Single digits up, single digits down, brothers. Single digits up to single digits down. Yeesh, some of these aren't even fucking full digits. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. Two single digits up to single digits down. Oh, look at Saul. Okay, we'll we'll get there. Look, look. Let's look at our top loser of the day, brothers. Anything here? It's on sale. If you like it, go get it. Bang! It's on sale today. Whoops. Hold on. Let me get my screen right. Bang! Yes, Got to get ten of them in the picture. Look. Bang! Oh, there's a couple sales. Look, look, top 10 losers of the day, brothers. Monocoin, Maximine Coin, Bitcoin SV, Omis Go, True Chain, Tron, Factum, Made Safe Coin, Cosmos, and Aurora. Let's look at the top 10 winners of the day, brothers. Bang. 
Yes. Top 10 winners of the day. Solve, GX Chain, Chainlink, Theta Fuel, Finance Coin, V Chain, Orbs, Marketverse, ETP, Maker, and Ox. All right. Let's look at our total market cap of the day, brothers. So we are at 240. Uh oh, oh. That's right. That's right. Bang. We're at 249.7 on market cap. Last night we were at. 249.4. So again, like last night, we have not moved anywhere from the previous night. All right. Let's look at our... Oh, but here's something interesting. Total volume of the day is only 66.5. Yes, well, last night's volume was 80.6. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, so some people just didn't come to play, and the money just stayed, right? The money just stayed. Some people were just like, yeah, I'm not coming to play today. So these were probably the people who bought yesterday and the day before, just bought their stuff. Remember I told you with the low volume, but the high, the high, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, that means they brought their money in and stayed. And now they brought their money in, stayed, and hmm, they've left. All right, let's see. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. Yes, let's see. All right, brothers, let's look at the stories of the day. What? One second. Yeah, I just wanted to keep the desk clean. All right, look. Bang, IOTA. IOTA blockchain to be used to record data for water management. Ah, this is some serious shit right here. This is some serious shit when your citizens have to drink water. Here in America, we have this place called Flint, Michigan. And actually, there's a lot of them across America. There's lead in the waters. Yeah, the kids are turning retarded from the lead. Like, I'm not saying retarded as in, like, like I'm making a joke. Like, I'm talking serious. Like, mental disabilities. Uh, what do you call that? Learning, uh, you know, it stunts their learning and stuff. Yeah, man, here in America. Greatest nation on earth. All right. Look, you want to make America great again, Trump? How about a little clean water? So... The auto blockchain is going to be used to record data for water management. Bang! Let's check it out. Yeah, so clean water wouldn't hurt. Make America drinkable again. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's not funny, though. It's That's not funny shit, man. I mean, for fuck's sakes, it's like a third world country. Fucking third world people get cleaner water out of the fucking ground. You know, at least it doesn't have, I mean, it might be a little brown and shit, but it, it, that's just dirt. It doesn't have fucking lead. All right. All right, sorry about that. I didn't mean to get all upset there. So, the global leader in blockchain security and infrastructure. Oh, that's right. I remember this story now. All right, all right. So the global leader in blockchain security and infrastructure solutions, Ledger, so your Ledger Nanos, those things, announced on May 27, 2019, that it had partnered with the global utility firm v Veolia's sister concern, Birds. The business alliance is aimed at bringing more security to Birds water sensor equipment. So they they have this uh, these nodes, they sensor water. Notably, the two firms will record and recorded send data. Well, they will record and send data into the cloud to register, and they will register it on the IOTA blockchain. Fuck these websites, man. Uh, these guys obviously English isn't their first language. So what's going to happen is this company Birds and Ledger. So Ledger Nano and this company Birds are going to build some sensor, and it's going to. I'll just say it in English. It's going to test water. Yeah, and it's going to send the data back, and but they're going to use the and so it's going to send data, and they're going to use the IOTA Tangle to store the data right on the on the Tangle. All right, yeah, all right. So, Ledger, most commonly known in the cryptocurrency space because of its cold storage hardware wallet, has inked a partnership with Veolia subsidiary Birds to leverage IoT Internet of Things to ensure the accuracy of collected data. Most importantly, 
Ledger's secure element will be deployed to sign and encrypt all collected data before it is transferred onto the cloud and registered permanently into the what? Boom, IOTA blockchain. All right. So data from birds, water sensors will be collected by a ledger, by ledger, via its specialized microchip. A, search, a certified EAL5 plus secure element. All right. And its operating system, Bolos. These chips will be installed on BIRD's water sensor and the collected data will be relayed onto the IOTA blockchain, the announcement reads. So I'm assuming this company, BIRD's, is going to have, obviously, some sensor. They're going to toss into some body of water and it's going to keep track of, you know, whatever, whatever is going on in there, right? The lead levels, the, I don't know, whatever is in water, right? Whatever is in water water stuff <laughs> look good i like fresh water yes yes i use it to chase my vodka so look the security of iota blockchain will ensure the uploaded data is not tampered or fidgeted with in any manner thus allowing cities to keep a safe and confidential track of their water supply exactly here in america flint michigan yeah they started tinkering with the water numbers yeah the mayor of flint michigan started telling his people Oh, look, look, we can't show the people that it's like this. We need to change that. Yeah, and some of them did change it. Yeah, knowing that it was fucking killing the kids. Not killing them, but making them retarded. Like straight up retarded. Yeah, like retarded, man. Yes, man, I'm not just being an asshole saying the word retarded. I mean, yeah, the kids are retarded. Mentally challenged, whatever you want to use, because of the water. Kids that used to be bright, bright-eyed bright kids are just bleh. Dumb little fucks now. Yeah. Seriously. Flint, Michigan, water crisis. Google that shit if you think I'm fucking playing games. Ah, water's key. All right. That shit pisses me off. Because, you know, and that's why you see me always drinking out of water bottles. Yeah, I don't drink tap water, motherfucker. Are you crazy? I'm half afraid to fucking boil my fucking pasta in that shit. <laughs> in America, man. Never heard of such a thing. You know, in a first world country. All right. Pascal Gauthier, CEO of Ledger, highlighted the importance of storing safe and secure data in the 21st century economy. Regarding the involvement of Ledger in the development, he said, hmm, that's why Ledger's IoT team has been hard at work to expand our unparalleled security solutions to all types of connected devices. Yes. They want to secure all types of devices, not just your nanos. Look, look. By leveraging Nano's technology, Birds is sending a clear message that the that they take the quality measurement of critical resources seriously. Damn right they take it seriously. Your water's gonna be safe, guy dag on it. Dag on it. You're gonna have safe water around these parts. Look, yo, I wanna go live wherever this place is doing their water at. I'll guarantee some good water. <laughs> Maybe I'll drink out of the taps again. I don't even drink water at restaurants, man. Yuck. We're excited to work with birds and look forward to other industries taking similar steps to secure critical digital data. Bang! Yes! Birds is expected to roll out the initial batch of ledger enabled water sensors throughout Europe. Oh, Europe. See? It's Europeans, man. Hey, motherfuckers. Yeah, clean water. Clean water. They looked it over here and they were like, look, look. We cannot be like the Americans. They had a bunch of cowboys and dirty people. We must be clean. We need some water. Yes, that's how they roll. That's how they roll in Europe. They got healthcare. Bang. They got what? In 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 Germany, what is it? Twenty five dollars a semester for university. Bang. Yes. Now they have clean water. Thought America was so great. When you do the comparison, you realize a few things. Look. As a portable blockchain reporter on May 29, thousand nineteen, IOTA unveiled its highly anticipated coordinate. Oh, this is the thing we read about. Coordinate to kill off the centralized coordinate. All right, whatever about that. But look, look, here's some clean water, Europe. Bang, drink it up, Europe. Bang, yes. And you can thank IOTA for your clean water. Bang, look, look, bang, look, look, bang. Thank you, IOTA. Thank you for our clean water. Yes. Oh, there you go, Europe. Yes, yeah, so we could just get some tangle over here to watch our water. I wouldn't be so bad. I wouldn't be so bad at all. Look. Next story, bang, 
Microsoft, Ernst & Young, and Deloitte now work on Ethereum. And this is the shit I was telling you guys about. I, so that's why I brought up this story because it sort of consolidates all the things I was telling you. I was telling you guys like Ethereum is getting some big, big, big names right now. And I told you guys, for me uh, personally, what I think is, I think that the battle of the blockchains is going to be in this distributed app world, right? Tron, EOS, Ethereum, Stellar, VeChain, uh, who else? Fuck, there's a bunch, you know, making distributed apps, right? Or, well, you can make distributed apps on them. And I think that's where the battle of the blockchain is going to be. I told you, like, they're going to be like, well, now we have this many transactions. Oh, yeah, well, now I'm quantum proof. Oh, yeah, well, now I got this side chain. Oh, yeah, well, now I've got, I don't know, some holographic imaging. Or I don't even know what craziness they'll come out with, right? <laughs> it's going to be crazy, though. So that's where I think the fun in terms of, uh, I'm a market watcher. I mean, I'm a Forex trader, so I got to watch all the markets in the world. And so, well, the major ones. And I love watching markets. And so I actually enjoy it. It's not just because it's my job. And so for me in this market, the fun part about the blockchain services world, I believe is going to be the distributed app area and whose blockchains allow these guys to make the biggest and best distributed apps. Like right now, all the bullshit talk is just about, well, I have this transaction, that transaction. Fuck all that. And that's why I haven't been reporting that kind of stuff. But what does matter is who is on your blockchain? Who is deploying on your blockchain, right? And I'll be reporting about that from now on. So from now on, I will be. And that's what I told you guys, like Ethereum, I did see a bunch of Ethereum stuff over since Q1 this year, but I just haven't been saying it, but now I'm gonna make it a part of the show. Like I'm gonna make a, who, who's launching distributed apps on what, who? You know what I mean? So it's gotta be who, so it's gotta be a big name, right? Like I don't give a fuck about some stupid little, you know, gambling game or something, but like these names here, Ernst & Young, one of the big four accounting firms in the world, Deloitte, also one of the big four, and, he, and and Microsoft, well, obviously, you know who they are. Bye. All right, so let's proceed. Sorry about the jib-jab. Sorry about the yap-yap. Look, Ethereum's public blockchain network is becoming increasingly more popular as some of the world's largest enterprises, the world's largest, including Microsoft, Ernst & Young, and Deloitte, now work on top of Ethereum to develop new and innovative tools. Now, you know what's interesting? Remember, uh, so remember Deloitte. Deloitte moved a part of their distributed app stuff from ethereum to vchain the other day right but you see they're keeping some of their work on vchain so deloitte is like jaguar remember yesterday i talked about jaguar jaguar is using vchain and iota right in other words they're they're accepting the blockchain and implementing it right away right so whatever your blockchain is good at for my company bang i'm gonna implement it all right, so so while Ernst & Young did move that one piece of their company away from Ethereum into, into VeChain, yeah, they still have some stuff here on Ethereum, though. So perhaps the most impressive development built on Ethereum comes from the big four accounting firm, Ernst & Young, who recently released a million-dollar public blockchain protocol dubbed Nightfall for the whole world to use for free. Look, look, go use that shit. Nightfall is a privacy tool based on the ZK Snarks. Who else just released some snarks thing on there? Was that Tron? I don't remember, but I think so. I could be wrong, though. Oh, um, protocol that enables large corporates and enterprises, corporations and enterprises, bang, the big money, who require blockchain privacy to build upon the Ethereum network. With the release of this new tool, corporations and enterprises will no longer be restricted by the limitations of private blockchains as they can maintain privacy on Ethereum's public blockchain and reap the rewards of a public network. Yeah, that's what people have to realize. You know, all right, anyway. Therefore, we can expect to see an influx of development on Ethereum from, a large, from large corporates and enterprises. As stated by Ernst & Young's head of blockchain, Paul Brody, during the Ethereum Summit 2019, corporations will come to use Ethereum mainnet. And apparently they are, and that's, you know, and that's what I was showing you. Like, it's already a, a flipping commodity, but huh, actually use cases, right, are being used on it. So 
when the institutional investors get here, bang. Yeah, you know, get those large caps, get those large caps. All right, and Deloitte. So soon after Ernst & Young's public release of their privacy-enabling blockchain protocol, another big four accounting firm, Deloitte, announced the development of a Ethereum-based tool that facilitates a wide range of staff-related data management. Oh, this is one we talked about the other day. Blah, blah, blah. They're just going to follow... They're just going to follow their staff uh, on the blockchain, though. I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, Microsoft develops Verisol for verifying and analyzing smart contracts. So this is an interesting one. As, repeat, as previously reported by IIB, Microsoft released an Ethereum blockchain development kit on Microsoft Azure, which grants more features and capabilities to developers building upon the public Ethereum network. Now, Microsoft released another tool called Verisol, which aids Ethereum developers by verifying and analyzing smart contracts. All right. This new tool will help developers author safer and higher quality smart contracts. Yes. Institutional grade smart contracts in Microsoft Azure's Ethereum blockchain development environment and thus attract more development on Ethereum. Bang. Yes. Ethereum's not dead yet. So, final thoughts, all in all. Development on Ethereum blockchain is booming. Sure is. And that's what I was telling you guys, man. It's booming. And more and more, as more and more enterprises continue to choose Ethereum and contribute to its growth by developing innovative tools and features. Exactly. A lot of these people say they're the, they're, they're the Ethereum killer. Yeah. EOS said, Tron says they're the Ethereum killer. EOS says that they are. EOS stands for Ethereum on steroids. Well, I sure don't see any big names like this on your shit, guys. Not nah, like I'm not dissing you guys. I mean, I own a both. Well, not you, Eos, but I own Utron. So look, look, Justin, son, step up to the plate. But look, Ethereum's not fucking around. Ethereum's not playing games. So it appears that Ethereum cannot be stopped now. <laughs> it's true. Bang, and I'm glad I own a whole shit ton of them. And as quickly establishing itself as a leader in enterprise, enterprise. Let's get that word right. In what? Enterprise blockchain development. Not fucking crypto kitties. Not fucking stupid little gambling games on your fucking... No. Enterprise level. Yes. Corporate infrastructure level. And like I've always told you guys, you know. Look, the these blockchain services providers, yeah, it doesn't matter that they have this and this and this and this. It matters, well, who, who are they servicing? Yeah, well, who are your clients? Who are your customers? You know what I mean? Who are your customers? And you guys know me. I'm all about brand name. Microsoft. Bang. Brand name. Ernst & Young. Bang. Brand name. And Deloitte. Bang. Brand name. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Brand names. Like, I don't give a fuck if your thing is partnered with the fifth largest Guatemalan bank for cross-border payments or some bullshit that I've never heard of. Like, I don't give a fuck about all that. You know, I want it like V-Chain. Bang. You know, Jaguar we read yesterday. Bang, BMW we read, you know, a couple weeks ago. Brand names. And so, look, look, Ethereum hodlers. Bang, look, look, bang, and look, 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 bang. Big names, big enterprise corporate names now. You know what I mean? And that's what I told you guys. I told you guys from the beginning of the year, that's where the battle is going to be. Who's got, who onboards the most, the most corporate clients? Big corporations, like big time, you know? And like I talked about with Deloitte right there, yeah, it doesn't mean that just because Deloitte is using VeChain that they're not using Ethereum as well. Yeah, whichever blockchain serves its purpose for your corporation, for your enterprise better, there you go. If it's for transactions, maybe I go with Tron. <laughs> A lot of transactions fast. Or probably Stella, really. If I need security, bang, I go with uh, Ethereum, right? If I need whatever, I go with VeChain, right? Obviously, they did for whatever reason, right? So that's where I think the fun is really going to be had in this blockchain world. <laughs> Platform tokens and who can onboard the most uh, big, big name uh, guys to do stuff on their 
their their platforms. All right, bang, and finally. Oh. Oh shit, here we go. Okay. So look. So I talked about you talked about Facebook yes or two days ago. I know with the ripple beat down. I know. But now it gets into more detail. Let me tell you a little something, fuck sticks. You want your fucking mass adoption? Is that what you want, son? Well, look at here, son. Maybe I was wrong. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to lie. I knew about this. I knew that this could happen and that but I didn't think that Facebook was going to wasn't was going to do. I didn't think anyone was going to do what I'm about to read to you. I'm about to tell you right now. Facebook? Yeah. Their coin? Guess what, shitheads? Yeah. They're going to deploy ATMs around the world. Bang! Look, look. There you go, mass adoption lovers. Crypto ATMs around the world. Look. So I already knew the mass adoption thing, to tell you the truth, I already knew. Well, if you just, for the for the unbanked and everything, yes, there's a lot of people here in South Beach, right? They're illegal immigrants, so they get paid cash. Yeah, and so they're unbanked because they can't get bank accounts here. And the only way you would get the unbanked to buy crypto would be if you had an ATM where they could put their dollar bills in, put their ATM card in, choose the coin they want, and then have it loaded to that card, the value loaded to that card. Well, here you go, fuck sticks. And this isn't a joke because it's Facebook doing it now. And uh, so that's why I'm reading this to you. Yeah, maybe you guys are right. Maybe it'll work out. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I don't think here in America it'll be that great. Like like I said, soccer mom's not going to go buy Bitcoin on Coinbase or wherever to go fucking put on a card and buy her kids you know baby formula no she, you know she doesn't have time for all that bullshit but this unbanked shit and the remittance oh and this is the part for the ripple lovers hey, you can fuck all that remittance shit ripple lovers look ripple lovers man you gotta better you gotta really think now for real 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 right i read you the thing about the banks the other day yeah banks aren't going to use xrp they're not going to use something that's controlled 60 percent by some shitty little crypto company you know, if I'm fucking Citibank, I'm not going to trust my hundred billion dollar banks, you know, uh, you know, critical infrastructure to some shitty little crypto thing like that's never going to happen. And uh, so the banks is over with, you know, that right. You're obsolete. Like they're already doing their own stable coins <laughs> like that's not going to happen. And so what was left for you, Ripple lovers, was remittance. Yes, you had remittance, maybe. That remittance game is all over. Watch what these fuckers are about to do, Facebook. You fuck all that remittance. You're not gonna do any remittance. In fact, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> this Facebook thing is so hardcore. I wonder if we're even gonna have a Western Union or a MoneyGram left. Yeah. That's how deadly this is. This shit is deadlier than a motherfucker. Western Union has to be worried about this shit. Fuck Ripple. Ripple's dead. <laughs> this? Look, look, this might even destroy Western Union. So look, brothers. Oh, all you mass adoption have an ass motherfuckers. Look, here we go. Social media giant Facebook will reportedly announce, reportedly announce its cryptocurrency project this month. Allowing it, oh, and that's what they're going to do, right. Allowing employees to take part of their salary in the coin. CNBC reports. So that if, if the employee wants, yeah, they'll pay them in Facebook coin. I'm going to tell you the truth right now. As soon as Facebook coin hits the market, bang. Oh, I am buying shit tons of this. Shit tons of this fucking shit. I know, and I know you guys don't like it. I know there's some of you out there, you know, oh, but I thought we were, I thought this was some, supposed to be some libertarian, libertarian revolution against the banks and against the corporations. Grow up. Okay, grow up. Right, I told you about the guy the other day. But Shamari, Samsung, right, he got all angry because Samsung is with Pivx and or uh, not Pivx, uh, what was that thing, Theta? He's like, yeah, but Samsung, they're big corporations, and we don't want them to make the money. Who do you think was going to make the money here, motherfucker? Did you really think a revolution was happening? These are blockchain services providers. Well, who the fuck do you think they're servicing? Huh? Are you going to fucking deploy v VeChain Thor in your house? No, motherfucker. They, they help corporations. <laughs> like, what do you think this is? Like, huh, really? 
we're going to take over the banking system. Take over the banking system? Ripple's trying to help them. <laughs> Stellar's helping them, right? All the blockchain that they're using, yeah, that doesn't take over the bank. It helps the bank. It saves the bank money. It makes the bank get to take over the world faster and more securely. There's no takeover going on, fuckstick. You know what's happening? It's called a global, a global, uh, uh, what should we call this? Yeah, global uh, corporate IT infrastructure upgrade. Yeah, all that's happening is corporations are upgrading from their centralized infrastructure to now a decentralized infrastructure. It's all about the corporations. If you thought there was going to be some fucking revolution, all that shit, yeah, well, because you got tricked into that nonsense, motherfucker. Bitcoin's going to be the world money. Really? Yeah, who's going to set up interest rates? Yeah, look, moron. So look. Oh, oh. So why did we get into all that? Anyways, though, so Facebook employees. Oh, because I was telling you. Yeah, I'm getting this Facebook coin. I'm getting this shit. This shit's going to be worth money. Watch this and watch why I why I say this. This is some stupid ass shit right here. And Facebook has the money to do it. Citing a report by the information, CNBC stated that Facebook furthermore plans to seek control of the cryptocurrency to outside parties in order to ensure that the digital asset would be completely sent will not be completely centralized. So they're actually going to give it away. Third party organizations will purportedly all oh, yes, will purportedly pay as much as ten million dollars for the opportunity to act as a node. So to be a node on this new Facebook thing, motherfuckers are ready to pay $10 million to validate transactions on the network for Facebook's native token. Now, this is the killer right here. The rumored stablecoin, which will purportedly be integrated as a payment tool on WhatsApp, Messenger, and Instagram. Now listen, will also be accessible how? Through Blood clot, physical ATM like machines. Bang. Look, look. You know Facebook's going to put these machines everywhere. 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 Oh, fuck. There's going to be a debit card for this shit. All your unbanked, like these people, like I told you, here in South Beach, yeah, half these people are illegal immigrants. All these Russian girls, all these fucking Italian guys. Yeah, yeah they don't have papers. <laughs> the guy serving you your steak, he doesn't have papers. He has a rich daddy, but he doesn't have papers. They all get paid in cash. Well, if you have a physical ATM machine where you can now, because they can't open banks here, right? You're not allowed, right? You don't have, well, I guess maybe when their visas were first around, but now that their visas are expired, they're not allowed, I guess, or something, right? Well, they get paid cash. Yeah, well, they can just put their $100 bill into the machine, put their debit card in, beep, 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 choose the crypto they want, it's loaded onto that debit card. There's your fucking, if there's going to be this mass adoption thing, you guys know me. I'm never going to waste my money on a fucking Starbucks coffee. I'm never going to make, well, I'll waste my money, my fiat. I'm never going to waste my crypto on a fucking coffee. I'll tell you that. But look, for the unbanked, and this is the example like here in South Beach and around the world, all these third world countries and other places where people just get paid cash, right? Under the table, paid under the table, whatever. Strippers, drug dealers. Ah. I mean, yeah, hookers. Look, there you go. So look, Facebook's own cryptocurrency has been subject, has been the subject of much speculation over the past several months. Oh, oh, all right, forget all that. I was going to give the Ripple lovers a beat down, but they had enough already this week. <laughs> oh, but Ripple lovers, you wanted to do remittance? <laughs> you can forget all that. <laughs> you can forget all that. Facebook's own cryptocurrency has been the subject of much speculation over the past several months as the company has revealed little about the project. Don't worry, Ripple lovers. I do have a, I have a, a little beam of light, a beam of hope for you at the end of this story, okay? Actually, let me write it down because I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. All right. I have a beam of, of hope. I don't like your attitudes, but there is a shining, there is one little hope. Yes, but if this doesn't pan out, you're fucked. Facebook's own cryptocurrency has been the subject of much speculation over the past several months as the company has revealed little about the project. Earlier this week, the Financial Times reported that the United States CFTC is in talks with Facebook about its upcoming stablecoin. Exactly. 
Facebook, I told you, Zuckerberg's having teen crumpets over there this year. <laughs> yes. In May, Facebook reportedly acquired the Libra trademark for the secretive project. Sources familiar with the matter claim that Facebook was recruiting financial firms to develop the coin and that the project code name is Libra. Later this month, Facebook also registered a new financial tech firm, Libra Networks LLC, with the Geneva Commercial Register in Switzerland. Bang! All right, look, look. So here it comes. Here it comes. Not only are they coming with their coin, but look, 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 look. It'll be what? It will also be accessible through what? A physical ATM-like machine, motherfucker. Look, look, look. There's your mass adoption, boys. I'll tell you the truth. I always knew that if you could get ATMs in the mix, that would bring, for the unbanked, it would help, like in third world countries, because they all get paid in cash. And that's the truth. The only reason I never brought it up was because, yeah, all these shitty little companies do the ATMs. Yeah, they don't have enough capacity to make the world start using it. <laughs> Facebook has enough money. Yeah, to put a fucking ATM on every fucking street corner if they feel like it. So now that's why for you mass adoption lovers, I was laughing at you guys at first. I'm still having a little chuckle, but it's getting closer. It's getting real closer. We'll see how much and where these are deployed, these physical ATM machines deployed. But that's the key to get people to mass adopt. Like, first of all, let me tell you something. For someone who has a regular job, and they get their paycheck um, direct deposit or something, no, they're not gonna mass adopt. They might invest in crypto as an investment vehicle, but they're not gonna invest in it. Uh, they're not gonna go to an ATM, buy it, and then spend it. They're not gonna do that. But people who, like I said, right here in South Beach, yeah, a lot of these immigrants uh, from Europe, from uh, South America, they get paid cash from the nightclubs, cash from these restaurants. And um, yeah, they will do that. They will put it on a, a debit card. You know, you put your debit card in. It reads your name. All right. And it asks you, how much would you like to load? And then you slide your bills in. You slide $100 in. You slide $200 in. It shows you $200. Confirm, yes, no. Press yes, boop. And then it'll say, I don't know, maybe it'll give you a choice. What, what, I mean, I don't know if it's only going to sell you Facebook coin, but maybe it'll ask you, would you like $200 worth of Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum? Right, you press the thing, boop, confirm, $200 of Litecoin. Yes, please. Press yes, boop. It gives you your card back. You've now got $200 worth of value on your card in the form of a Litecoin or Litecoins. Yeah, that's the only way that that mass adoption shit will really work. And the only reason I never mentioned that is because I never thought that anyone would have the money to do it. Facebook has the money to actually put a fucking ATM machine like that on every corner. Now, like I just showed you, is that ATM only gonna sell Facebook coin or is it going to just sell crypto? Somehow I think it's probably gonna be Facebook coin and that's why I think Facebook is gonna dominate and I think, uh, yeah, dude, as soon as, we'll see how it goes, but as soon as that coin is able to be bought, I am all, all, over it, I'm here for the straight cash, and I know there's a bunch of you, but Shamari, man, we're supposed to be taking out the big corporations. Like, fuck, fuck, stay, grow up, grow up. Is that what you really thought was gonna happen? Nah, dude. We're gonna take out the big banks. Nah, dude. We're gonna take out the government and fiat. Nah, dude. <laughs> nah, dude. So what you gotta do is just shut the fuck up and get rich. Look, look. Let's get to our shoutouts. Bang. Yeah. We got some notifications. What we got? All right, let's gather everybody in one thing here. Do a little refresh. All right. Look. What? All right. Who's this guy? Lazarus Satoshi. PhD level. BSV kick ass. All right, Lazarus Satoshi. Sounds like he's a fake Toshi lover. Look, look. All right. Radster, see you, brother. Bang. Moon landing. See you, brother. Bang. Sweetie. Yes. Bang. Blue line. What's blue line talking about? Sports bets. 3D graphic designer. Sketches producer. YouTuber. All right, buddy. See you, brother. Bang. Look, look. Son of a bitch. 
Ow. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. See you, brother. Bang. And I see how you did give the shout outs to Bob and them. Yes. Yes, you welcomed them to the Brotherhood of Leverage. Look, look, look. I hope to welcome a bunch more soon. If we can get this in America, finally. All right, what do we got? Brenda, Cooksey. Brand new to the world of crypto. Bang. Oh, she even gave a bang. Yes, Brenda. All right, Brenda. Look, look. Stick around, Brenda. DP Entertainment, see you, brother. Bang. Min. See you, brother. Bang. Yes. Kong's at it again. He's got a new one. Look at his V-chain, solar V-chain. Chung, chung with the lightning. Yes, Kong. Bang. See you, brother. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there's Hurricane Master. Bang. Hurricane Master. Oh, there's that girl again. All right. Yes. Bang. All right. What we got here? Where's BDM? There he is. Oh, that's Nico Odino. Bang. Yes. From the Netherlands. See you, brother. But there's BDM right beside him. Bang. See you, too, brother. And there's Bob. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Happy in the leverage world. Happy in the leverage world. Yes, brothers. You'll be happy. Don't you worry about it. Bang. We'll get there. We'll get there. We will get there. What do we got? Aurora Platform. Aurora is your all-in-one platform for digital currency. Trade on the most popular exchanges from one secure account on a desktop trading platform. Bang. All right. Mm, not sure if I trust that. Look, look, Casey, JTS. What does he say? TRX address. Donations are appreciated. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's chilling. Look, look. See you, brother. Bang. Yes, there's a brother, Poppy Wood. Bang. All right. Look at Brenda. She's been all active tonight. Oh, and she followed me, too. Bang. All right, sweetie. You stick around. Yes. You stick around. We got the money for you. Don't you worry about it. Invictus. What? What does this fucking crazy guy say? This is no accident. All of this was designed. Took my time, crept from behind, and I opened up your blinds. Rise and shine. All right. All right, buddy. <laughs> yes. Bang. And then the last one. Let's go for Binium. He said, <laughs> this is funny. He said, your laugh is contagious. Just finished to watch your video. Excellent as always. Thank you, Binium. I'm glad you enjoyed it. As always. Of course, it's the best show in the world. I mean, what do you expect? Look. And he said, my laugh is contagious. Here it is. Yay. Yes. That's the whole cryptocurrency blockchain posse having a good old time. Yes. Wait till the institution comes. Bye. Wait till the tsunami arrives. Yes, brothers. That's how we'll be partying next year. December 31st, 2020. Right there. All right, brothers. Let's keep back your wives and lives. Boom. Welcome. All right. So we had a good show today. How to network? Well, well they're going to do something else now. They're going to help people get clean water in Europe. Yes, aren't these guys lucky? Like I said, it'd be nice to have some clean water around these parts. Look. Now, Ethereum's major Fortune 500 users. Exactly. That's where I think I told you guys. I think the battle of the blockchain is going to are going to be those platform tokens. You know, like who's got the biggest, you know, um, corporation distributed app on their thing, you know, like and how fast are they? And all that. it's just going to be a competition for many, many years. I think that's where the the fun is going to be to watch. And finally, Facebook crypto project. So. It's not just they have that they have the crypto. I mean, that'd be one thing, which is hardcore enough. Look, you can fuck all that remittance thing, ripple lovers. And look, look, Western Union. Hey, that might be even rough for you guys. You've been around for how many hundreds of years? Well, this little upstart Facebook might fucking crush all that. <laughs> ripple ain't going to crush it. But Facebook? Yeesh, just might, just might. But the real thing is for, for all you mass adoption lovers, that's the truth. ATM machines, that's what you need. You need a way to, look, like I just said, people who get paid digitally already, no one's gonna go buy crypto. You know, if I get, if I get a, if, I, if I'm paid a direct deposit, yeah, I'm not gonna go buy crypto to buy something. But if I get paid cash, uh, would I put that cash in an ATM and convert it to this crypto to keep it on a, a debit card that I could spend? 
maybe, maybe, right? Maybe, you know what I mean? Like, we'll see. I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. But I will say this. Um, uh, for you mass adoption folk, that makes it a lot, lot closer. And the, the question is going to be now, how many of these ATMs are they going to deploy? First of all, because it, it didn't say in the article, is Facebook deploying them? Or is that third-party company deploying them? If it's that third-party company, oh, well, then fuck all that. But if Facebook is behind it, well, they could have an ATM at every fucking corner on earth. <laughs> they can afford that. So let's see mass adoption levers. I'm going to keep real close eye on the Facebook thing and especially that ATM part of it because that's the truth. That is the truth. If I'm a drug dealer, I get paid straight cash. Yeah, I can't put my money in a fucking bank, can I? They're going to ask, well, where's your paycheck? You know, where are you getting the money from? Yeah, but I can sure put it in crypto on a card, can't I? You know what I mean? If I'm a hooker, if I'm a stripper, if I'm an illegal worker, or even not illegal, maybe I do work, I, I work at a regular company, but just in my country, in a third world country, but yeah, my boss just pays me cash because that's how it is in third world countries. Yeah, well, with this ATM card, uh, or ATM thing, I'm assuming, obviously, it has to have some card to use an ATM. I'm assuming, and I'm pretty sure I'm positive. Hey, you put your cash in. It's now on your card. So, there you go, mass adoption lovers. Like I said, you're never going to catch me buying a coffee with my crypto. Never going to waste my coffee on a crypto. But look, well, if you want to, here it comes. And so, guys, yeah, that's a show. Oh, so, let's chill it and kill it. Bang, subscribe below, press the bell. You get automatic notification when I do this show. You know, my name is Shamar Clark. I love doing this show. I love talking crypto. I love talking money. I love talking. I love talking, talking, talking. <laughs> Look. So, bang, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. My name is Shamar Clark. I'm always on duty. Boom. See you guys tomorrow. Love you. Yes. Over and out.